I've always been fascinated with sharks. Having spent so much time in the ocean sharing their domain, I wonder how many times have they passed me by and just left me be. My brother Bryce, Tidelander and myself set off on a journey down to South Australia to document the great white shark. I needed to look into the eye of one of these creatures myself and try to understand it. Calypso Star Charters took us out to the Neptune Islands, a two and a half hour boat ride to one of the most notorious hunting grounds in Australia, where a colony of over 40,000 fur seals live, which just so happens to be a Great White's favourite meal. Calypso operate a very safe and non-destructive experience for both the sharks and the environment that allows people just like you and me to learn, be inspired, and appreciate these animals in their natural habitat. And also to understand the critically important role they play in sustaining a healthy ocean. Now I know there's no shortage of opinions when it comes to cage diving with sharks, but let's make it simple. Sharks alive are worth a lot more than sharks that are dead, both to us and the oceans. I mean, I have my own opinions on things as well, but I think it's important to validate what we say with education and experience. know that when I locked eyes with one of these amazing predators, what I had to say was no longer an opinion, rather more so it transformed into an admiration. Because nothing that roams this earth does so without a unique purpose and reason for being. Being face to face with a great white is, is completely mesmerizing. At first, it seems like they have the straightest face, but they actually have an incredible range of emotions. From smiling to curiosity to fascination, right through to intent to kill. Seriously, at some angles, they look like the deadliest and most lethal looking things on the planet which they probably are. Are these animals a threat to people? Well, yes. But along with just about everything else on the planet, from birds to bears to bees, to spiders to humans, the list goes on. But that doesn't mean we need to develop a negative mentality towards them. The ocean is their home and we are vulnerable every time that we enter it. And that's just the nature of nature.
I think the real problem is that many people in today's world live and act out of fear. The media feeds us fear every single day. Judgments and opinions and all sorts of arguments all comes out of a sense of fear. Naturally, people want to eliminate their fears. And sadly, that often comes with a false need to eliminate life. Instead of actually educating themselves on how vital each living creature is to the ocean's ecosystems. As photographers, we have this incredible privilege, but also a responsibility to document and portray the real world. My goal with my photography is to inspire wonder. A wonder that encourages people to personally value the world that we live in and to get out and experience for themselves this magnificent life that surrounds us. And also to learn that each and every creature, both big and small, all play a vital part in this perfect cycle of life that we should not unsustainably tamper with. <laughs>